Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel right so today we have quite interesting video and this video is all about data statistics and zero of my own personal opinion so what I have been doing for past six wars so four wars uh, three till nine basically during the season I have been taking screenshots of every single champion that either alliance brings in uh, in alliance war offense and I have been basically just noting that just down and uh, checking how much of which champion we are actually using, who are the most popular Alliance for Champions, and who are somewhat less popular, and therefore we should have kind of clear representation of Tier 1 Alliance War meta, which ones are the most popular attackers, and despite what other people might want you to believe, which ones definitely are not. Now, a few quick notes, all of these wars are uh in tier one every single one of those wars primarily has had stubborn as the global node i think one of the battle groups in one of the wars put something else but typically it always has been stubborn and the way i recorded this data has been basically i separated asrs uh offense because that's one single alliance and the data point there could potentially be considered maybe as not a, as a representative of overall tier one meta and then I have recorded whatever our opponents bring in. And uh, with that, I basically just uh, separate into three different columns. Uh, here, uh, basically, the sorted by most popular total ASR champions, uh, most used, and uh, opponents, most used champions. And we can see that, for instance, ASR relies on Warlock significantly heavier than... Uh, most other tier 1 alliances do. Tier 1 alliance uh, overall picks Quake as a second most used champion. Okay, at this point let's address the elephant in the room. Doom is alliance war king, pretty much period. You can see that uh, he's in first place for ASR, he's in first place total, he's in first place everywhere across the board, pretty much. And yeah, Doom takes it home. Doom is the most used Champion, so Doom is a champion people rely on the most in Alliance War. But uh, now let's go down to the nitty bitty gritty bit, still the bottom pretty much. So we have Warlock coming in in second place with 107. That's also significantly higher than the third and fourth and whoever overall. So Warlock is incredible Alliance War champion, superbly popular option. I have been kind of surprised by the popularity of Human Torch overall, but it, I guess it kind of makes sense. So Human Torch is the third uh, most used champion in Alliance War offensively. Then we have Quake uh, coming in at fourth, Nick Fury at fifth, Magic at sixth, which is still kind of shocking to me. I definitely did not see Magic living in top 10, but she seems to be one of the Alliance War queens. Now we have Mega Red up there in seventh place. And uh, I definitely saw that coming. I actually expected my grad to be somewhat higher. Now we have Archangel being extremely frequently used in 8th uh, place. And Sabertooth actually is top 10 most used Alliance War champion as a synergy champion. So I, I think it's needless to say that Sabertooth isn't really actually doing any fights in Alliance War. He's primarily there for Omega Red. And... Uh, if you combine Sabertooth points, we can see 38. And then we have Deadpool likes for somewhere here with 10. So that means uh, only twice I have noticed an Omega Red brought in without that same synergy which Sabertooth on Deadpool X for provides. So Omega Red is pretty much exclusively being brought in with uh, synergy to accompany him. And yeah, so as I said, Sabertooth is 9th. 10th uh, would be Void. And then outside of top 10 in Alliance War, we have Ghost, which again, I kind of would have expected to see her a bit more, but then again, Stubborn being directly uh, problematic, uh, global or Ghost, uh, definitely has had an impact there, in my opinion. And we have Red Hulk, extremely high, and the popularity of Red Hulk, and actually another champion that I need to point out, is Mephisto, is quite frequently seen. And I think both of these are primarily brought in for Path 9 Hazard Shift and the Hazard Shift miniboss. 
Now, they obviously can do other fights, but I think that is one of the main reasons why he, we can see them as frequently in high tier alliance wars. It is specifically to counter hazard shift nodes and the hazard shift mini boss, and that is the reason we can, yeah, see them being brought in all the time. Another champion that is extremely low is Magneto, which uh, kind of surprised me. I would have expected him to be higher. He's like 14th overall. But still, quite solid placement. I do believe this could potentially increase in future as well. Guillotine 2099, definitely also kind of like a bit of a surprise. Mr. Fantastic, I think, is uh, the most generic synergy champ that frequently gets brought into place the pre-fights. Mr. Fantastic seems to be significantly more popular than uh, Magneto House of X, who is also often brought in uh, for his pre-fight abilities but not quite as often as Mr. Fantastic is. Now we have Mephisto J addressed. Chorus Glaive is uh, slowly sliding down into obscurity. Chorus Glaive is retiring slowly from Alliance War and maintaining his position in Alliance Quest, I'd assume. So Heimdall is frequently brought in. Synergy Champion, we have Captain America. Uh, Infinity War. Medusa still seems almost as much play as Mag Magneto does, so that's worth noting out. Black Widow Clairvoyant had a quite significant resurgence in these last wars, Symbiote Supreme, and we have a couple of Synergy Champions. Colossus Domino is actually brought in much more than I remember her in Tier 1 Alliance Wars. We have Killmonger, Captain Marvel, Iceman and Havoc are still seeing some of their glory days. Vision is still up there. Cosmic Ghost Rider slowly is creeping in as more and more popular option. And then everything else is kind of like fairly rarely. Some Professor X, some Venom, some She-Hulk, some Spider-Man style suits, uh, some things, but these, all of these things I think pretty much exclusively came from 4 Loki defense, and I don't remember really seeing them anywhere else. Okay, Spider-Man's Dark Enhanced, Doctor Strange, a couple of Hit Monkeys, a couple uh, Silver Surfers, Red Guardians, Massacres, uh, Guardians, Morningstars, Hulk. and that is pretty much all that you can see in tier 1 alliance wars, at least reliably. I must say that every other alliance war, there is like a random new champion appearing. Like we had Mole Man brought in like that I had never seen before for offensive use, uh, which surprised me. We had Hyperion, we had Angelo with synergy with Heimdall, I believe. We had Emma Frost, Emma Frost appear, Cable, <laughs> single Namor appearance, single Storm Pyramid X, had Guillotine for synergy, couple of Black Widow appearances, I assume for things, <laughs> and yeah, Hulk Ragnaroks, but yeah, a lot of one and two offs, but as I said, every other war we get like one random or two random additions to the list, but overall I think the list is kind of fairly much set and stabilized, let's say, at about 30 champion mark, so it's pretty much about 30 champions that are frequently being used, or even if you count only the ones that have appeared 10 or more times, then that would be like, what, 25 champions that are frequently being used in Alliance War to address pretty much every single situation on every single map on different placements. And then all of the extra things kind of vary and they're significantly less important in my opinion. And as I said, there are some changes definitely which ASR is affecting. For instance, uh, Warlock is more popular in ASR than it is in globally. Quake is significantly less popular than it is uh, overall in ASR, so <laughs> that's kind of shameful to admit. ASR isn't a Quake-loving alliance, which brings great shame to the family. <laughs> and we have Human Torch in ASR is the third most popular used champion and overall sport, but for most part the results are quite similar when you see Magic's placement again differs only by one. Omega Red is exactly the same. Nick Fury differs by two. And then how Archangel, Red Hulk, Void. And then how Archangel again differing by one. Red Hulk by a couple of positions. Ghost is exactly the same. So I think overall uh, there is not a huge difference of ASR's individual alliance friends from what every other tier 1 alliance is typically using, which is encouraging to see, and that just means that the totals are even more kind of like accurate, if you will, 
or better represent what's popular. And here is the thing though, no matter how much anybody would like you to tell something, uh, or this list in itself, this list does not mean that, uh, let's say, Ghost is worse champion than uh, Warlock. This means for this game mode, Warlock is significantly more popular than Ghost is because of X, Y, and Z. This only looks at Alliance War, and it also doesn't judge the difficulty of encounters or the amount of fights each of these champions take, so on and so forth. So take this for what it is exactly and nothing else. It showcases effectively the meta of Alliance War, such as it is right now in Tier 1, which champions are the most used and most popular. It doesn't mean other champions can't be brought in, it doesn't mean other champions will not get eventually more popular, it doesn't mean that these are the best options for every single scenario. However, if you do kind of, let's say, want to focus on Alliance War, and if you do uh, want to take Alliance War seriously, having top 10, let's say, of this list ranked up would definitely be a good way to start uh, making sure that your roster is prepared for high-level le high Alliance War often. But I think that will pretty much do for today. Hope you guys find it interesting because this video took a ton of time. <laughs> I have forgotten how tedious and boring data input is. And even though it is only six words recorded here and I only recorded uh, four words in kind of like my last attempt now, uh, it took me a couple of hours <laughs> definitely because like you need to transfer the information from screenshots to here. Then if the champion's missing, you need to add it in and Ah, it's just uh, a bit of a ball egg. So if you could do me a favor and hit that like button and show this video to your friends, that would be greatly appreciated because it was quite a lot of effort to actually put it all down here and then transfer it to these sheets where I can present it to you. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the